What is going on guys? Rob here with RK Motorsports. Today we have a wrecked 2014 Yamaha R1 that we are going to be rebuilding. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright guys, so here she is, our 2014 Yamaha R1. This thing was beautiful before it was wrecked. I do have a couple photos of the bike prior to it going down. I'll put a couple of the photos right here. And just for a little background story on this bike, this bike actually did end up hitting a deer. And I do have a few photos that the owner provided me when the bike actually was wrecked. So I'll put a couple photos here of the bike after it went down. This was right at the accident scene, moments after the bike ended up being wrecked. This thing was beautiful prior. It is decked out head to toe in carbon fiber. We had this beautiful carbon fiber tank cover. Unfortunately, it is scuffed up right here and cracked right there. And we do have some more damage down here. This was this piece alone was probably a few hundred dollars brand new. So we have the carbon fiber that was there. We also have the carbon fiber front piece. This is all smashed up and broken now. But you can see we have the carbon fiber on the front there all that nice glossy twill. And we also have the carbon fiber swing arm cover and we have a carbon fiber exhaust and carbon fiber side pieces. This thing alone probably had at least $1,000 in carbon fiber on it prior to going down. So aside from all the fairing pieces that were decked out in carbon fiber, we are gonna need a new plastic kit for this bike, a new fairing kit. And along with that, we do have damage on the front of the bike. Clearly the front headlight was smashed up from the accident right there, all smashed up and broken. So we are gonna have to get a new headlight assembly. We do need some new air ducts for here. Front fender is also smashed up. That's gonna be included with the fairing kit. Right here, we can see that our front fairing stay, uh, this aluminum bracket right here is broken. So I am gonna have to get a new one of those. We do have, you know, scratched up levers. Our clip-on right here is broken. You can see right there that clean break right there for the handlebar. So I'm gonna have to do, get a new one of those. Looks like we do have some damage here to our throttle cable assembly. So I'm gonna have to get a new one of those. There is a slight bit of damage to the forks. Um, you can kind of see those little indentations, those grooves there. I very well may need to get a new set of forks for this. Uh, this one over here doesn't look too bad. There actually was some blood on here from the deer that he ended up hitting. We also have a very smashed up radiator on the side here. You can see it's kind of squished in right in there. That definitely needs to be replaced. Now, I did not get a chance to check these wheels out to see if there's any bends in the rim. That's gonna be very pricey if I'm gonna need to get the wheels replaced. So hopefully those are straight. Looks like we have a frame slider here. This bracket broke off. You can see that cast aluminum right there. So I'm gonna to have to take that out. Just some light scratches on the frame, nothing crazy, no major structural damage or anything. Down here we have, you know, a rashed up side cover. Probably gonna get this new piece here. This is probably gonna look brand new. Uh, we do have a lot of dirt stuck in here, but I think underneath the dirt, that is gonna look a lot newer. Oh yeah, look at that. Honestly, that was kind of protecting some of the stuff. Oh yeah. So this, this bottom cover piece is pretty good. The smaller side piece on the top, that's definitely gonna have to get replaced. Looks like we still have some straw and dirt underneath this little cover. So you can tell like this thing has not been washed at all since the accident. You still have all that grass in there. Looks like we do have some aftermarket wires in here. Not sure what those are for. Let's move back on the bike a little bit. We do have a broken rear set here. Just the peg it looks like. The side bracket does look pretty sturdy. Um, probably get a new brake lever. We might be able to use that too. We definitely need a new peg though. Uh, as far as the carbon fiber on the swing arm, this looks relatively untouched, so that is very good. We do have a little bit of scuffing on the rear spool here, nothing crazy, so we might be able to just get new spools for that. Let's see, passenger peg is, looks a little tweaked. It's definitely down and kind of crooked back there. Yeah, and I think the subframe is bent too, um, so I am gonna have to get a new subframe for that. Let's check out the exhaust because the exhaust is very expensive. This is a full system 
Graves exhaust. You can see kind of the bluing right there on the headers all the way back. It's a beautiful exhaust. This thing's at least over $1,500 brand new. Little, little bit of scuffing there. Nothing too bad. I think we will be able to clean that up and make this thing look brand spanking new once we're done. Rear wheel, we're gonna have to check that for any bends or damage. Looks like the rear tail light is still intact, so that's good. Exhaust can on this side is pretty, pretty brand new. So that's really nice. And oh yeah, we've got a lot of dirt, straw, grass down in here. Look at that. Just pulling out big old clumps. So I don't think there's too many scratches underneath that underneath the dirt here everything looks like it's kind of well protected from what go, when it went in the dirt so i think this rear swing arm carbon fiber cover this is pretty much untouched so that's really nice i wonder how much that is brand new we do have you know the tail piece is cracked got some rash over here underneath the seat not too much going on. Um, I believe I did pop off the rear seat before. Let's get that popped real quick. So I just went and grabbed the key and there's one of our keys. And here's another one of our keys. This one is totally bent up. So let's pop this seat real quick. All right. Now I do remember kind of briefly looking at this bike before and yep, there it is right here. So we do have a crack in our subframe right there so i am gonna have to get a new subframe for this bike um, the seat is relatively untouched so that's still in really good shape and same with our driver's seat that is still really good I'll bring this key out so we don't lose it um, here's a little bit more of that damage to our carbon fiber cover underneath it you can see a real real slight scratch from on the tank from the that damage from the accident I don't think that's too bad, but once we get this cover off, we'll see what that tank looks like, see if there's any noticeable damage that we need to address. Over here, we do have a broken rear set. You can see that brake right there, and also that other brake down here. Super flimsy. Honestly, I could probably snap this off right now if I wanted to, which, yeah, that's really flimsy. So we're gonna have to get a new rear set. Over here, it looks like the shift lever's still pretty good. No cover on the front sprocket. You know, we might need to get one of those. Overall, this side of the bike is really kind of untouched. You see this this frame slider isn't even damaged at all from, from the left side, so that's really good. It's almost like, you know, he hit the deer and then the bike ended up tipping over right there. Also, one thing that I did not mention about this bike, this thing only has like 2,100 miles on it. I believe I can still power up the gauge cluster, but we'll do that in a minute and we'll power it up and see exactly how many miles are on this bike. So moving back towards the front of the bike here, obviously, you know, we have our side fairings removed because those were damaged. This side of the frame is still really clean and it looks like our handlebar over here is still in pretty good shape. Our top triple looks pretty nice as well. One other thing in the front is our wiring harness. Now we do have Looks like most of it is actually still intact. You know, here's one of our, looks like our air temperature sensor for the front. Uh, we do have a lot of wires coming off around here. Looks like our ECU is still pretty good. And this is just a little wire lead that can be replaced. Um, other than that, I mean, the bike is pretty decent in the front. We've got our sub harness in the front here. Got a couple miscellaneous broken pieces. I'm not entirely sure what this is for right here. You know, obviously once I get around to working on the bike a little bit more, I will figure out what those are. And yeah, so let's try and get this bike plugged in. I do have the wires plugged in. I just gotta connect this right here to that connector. And let's see if we can get this powered up and see how many miles are on this gauge. So I'm just gonna bring this up here for ease of working on it. All right, now we do still need to plug these little connectors. All right, so those are plugged in now. I don't know how strong the battery is, but let's turn the key and see if this thing turns on at all. 
Oh, there we go. 2,304 miles are on this bike. Now let's just cycle through. Trip one, trip two. 2,304 miles. And this bike sure does show that condition because this frame is super clean and prior to the accident, this bike was flawless with a lot of money dumped into it. Now, you guys are probably wondering if this bike does turn on. Let's check the oil level on this thing real quick. Stand it straight up. All right, so we do have oil right there. So the bike does still have oil in it. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up real quick. So I'm gonna turn this key. So we got that turned on. All right, so we did hear the fuel pump prime. Um, I'm gonna hit that starter, it is in neutral. Let's hit the start button and see if this thing goes. Oh yeah. Fired right up. this exhaust this bike sounds absolutely amazing this thing is a monster so the 2009 through 2014 r1s this body style these bikes have the cross plane motor i am absolutely in love with these bikes i could not wait until i got my hands on another one this thing is an absolute beast i'm gonna see if i can get a little closer shot of that flame coming out that exhaust for you guys guys don't tell my girlfriend i absolutely love this bike the cross plane motors are something like no other bike on the market right now these bikes are absolute monsters and i love the way they sound All right guys, so we have gone over the damage to this 2014 R1. That is gonna wrap up part one of this rebuild. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you can keep up with all the episodes of this rebuild. And don't forget, leave a comment below with what you think I paid for this bike. And we will go over that in part two of this rebuild. Rob with RK Motorsports signing out. See you guys in the next episode. <laughs> all right.